in this task we will configure for this portion of the network first of all we're gonna enable the port 3 on distribution switch 3 to make it the layer 3 port and then assign this IP address to it and then we're gonna enable the port 2 and configure it as the layer 3 port and assign this IP address for it after that we're gonna enable the EIGRP process 1 on distribution switch 2 and distribution switch 3 then in the distribution switch 2 we will um, configure the switch virtual interface for VLAN 1 and assign this IP address to it lastly we will enable the port 1 and configure it as a layer 3 port and assign this IP address to it and then assign the default gateway or the distribution switch 1 so now let's get started let's go to the distribution switch 3 configure T interface G03 no switch port to make it the layer 3 port and now we can assign the IP address to it IP address 192.168.0.3 the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 I have this now let's go to the distribution switch 2 enable configure T interface G02 no switch port to make it a layer 3 port and now we can assign the IP address to this 192.168.0.2 subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and now let's go to the distribution switch 3 and enable the EIGRP process 1 router EIGRP 1 no auto summary network 192.168.0.0 and the wirecast is 0 0.0.255.255 Let's go to the distribution switch 2 configure T router EIGRP 1 and you can see because in the distribution switch 2 we never enable the routing so it show with the message must enable IP routing first so let's enable the IP routing on the distribution switch 2 the command is IP routing that's it. Now we configure the router EIGRP1 no auto summary network 192.168.0.0 The wirecast is 0 .0 0.255.255 and you can see the uh, message saying that the neighbor is up and new adjacency so it means the um, EIGRP from the neighborship. Let's verify show IP EIGRP neighbor and you can see the neighbor is formed for the address 192.168.0.3 which is on the distribution suite 3 and on the interface G02. Let's go to the distribution suite 3 and show IP EIGRP neighbor and the neighbor address is 192.168.0.2 which is on the distribution switch 2 and on the interface G03 configure T interface VLAN 1 IP address 192.168.3.2 dot 255.255.0 so now we just configure the switch virtual interface for VLAN 1 on the distribution switch 2 no shut this is very important it's 
is to enable the interface VLAN one and then exit out of this. Now on the distribution switch one, we need to enable the port one to make it the layer three port. So go to the port G01, no switch port and assign the IP address to it. IP address 192.168.3.1 and the subnet max is 255.255.255.0 axis IP default gateway 192.168.3.2 so the IP default gateway for the distribution switch 1 is the switch virtual interface on the distribution switch 2 of VLAN 1 show IP route on the distribution switch 2 and you can see the route in the routing table everything looks good here is for the dot zero network and dot one dot two and dot three let's verify ip routing on the distribution switch three on the distribution switch three everything look good also here's the network for dot zero dot one dot two and dot three dot three is learned from the eigrt exit of this and we're gonna verify our connectivity ping 192.168.3.2 everything looks good now we're gonna ping the IP address of the access switch 1 ping 192.168.1.4 everything looks good now we're gonna ping the IP address of access switch to ping 192.168.2.5 everything looks good so we complete for this section